When we consider the very purpose of the existence of a state, then it can be correctly said that the state exists to safeguard the life and liberty of every single person residing in its territory. In the social contract of forming a modern state, every instrument of rule instills in us the confidence that they ensure our safety and accordingly the institutions of the army and police were derived. They gave us the assurance that they will protect us from every internal and external enemy. But with its limits, can we say that since 1947 we have been protected enough by the state? Criminals, terrorists, Naxals, militants and jihadis have never stopped their killing agenda of people. And the successive history of massacres suggests that it is highly difficult for the state to prevent it. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Piyush and if you haven't subscribed to the TFI English channel yet, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. Coming back to the story, in this video I will tell you why easing the procedure for acquiring gun license is important in our country. The daylight beheading of Kanhaiya Lal in Udaipur by Islamist jihadis has once again raised the question of easing the arms licensing for self-defense. It is reported that he was receiving death threats from the Islamists and despite the formal appeal to the police, the protection was not provided to him. Failure of the state to fulfill its highest responsibility, which is to ensure the safety of its people, advances the self-defense rights of the people. This generates a debate around self-defense issues in the country. The majority of Indians possess the highest virtue of peace. The state has its own limitations to control violence and provide about 130 crore people with safety. Now we can all agree that the state does not have the resources to provide safety to each and every citizen. So it can be a wise decision to allow citizens to possess guns for self-defense purposes based on the threat perception assessment. If an impartial assessment of security agencies against individuals suggests that someone has some sort of threat from anyone, the license to carry a gun can be allowed. A gun works as a deterrent from any threat and also provides safety in emergency situations. It gives an assurance to an individual to their right to life. The right to ensure the safety of oneself as well as one's family from any form of threat. The conflicting nature of Indian society and enmity often results in case of revenge. Issuing gun licenses to individuals based on standard threat assessment can help to save many lives. A fearful mind and a fearful society often face the onslaught of barbarians and this paves a path for their degeneration. The right to self-defense has been provided under various penal laws and its nature of justice is that those who threaten our life must be retaliated with equal and disproportionate force. And guns provide enough insurance for the safety of life. According to the Small Arms Survey Report, India ranks 120 in civilian per capita firearms. India continuously faces the wrath of terrorism, extremism, naxalism, and the worst type of communal riots. So these contingency conditions provide enough argument to expedite the process of gun licensing. Indian gun licensing for self-defense is governed under the Arms Act of 1959. The act has been made to control gun possession in society. It is true that illegal guns need to be regulated, but the process to acquire guns for self-defense also needs to be standardized. Based on standard threat perception assessment, an individual should be provided with a license to carry a gun and the liberty to save their life should be left with the individual in the contingency situations. 